This is Jefferson Close-Up, and I'm Carol Celine. My guest today is Dr. Kevin Judy. Welcome. Now, you didn't grow up with the expectation that you'd become a doctor. Tell us a little bit about your childhood. Well, I grew up in a small steel mill town outside of Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. so I ex expected I would go work in the steel mill like my dad. Uh, my father really didn't want that to happen, so he insisted that I go to college. So were there stops other than uh, college along the way on your route to becoming a doctor? Well, I went to pharmacy school first, oh. which was uh, uh, at that time a bachelor's degree, undergraduate degree. And then after that, I decided that uh, I really liked the medicine, and I decided to go on to med medical school. Now, you're a neurosurgeon. I was interested in what attracted you particularly to neurosurgery. Well, I was a late bloomer. I did, wasn't interested in neurosurgery in medical school, but when I was in general surgery, I rotated through it and, and fell in love with it. And when you have a mentor who makes something so exciting, that's what you couldn't imagine doing anything else, mm -hmm. that's what I came across when I was a resident, and that's why I do brain tumors. And uh, brain tumors are particularly challenging. Well, why is that? Well, because they, dis they damage the brain. Surgery on them can damage the brain. So you have to learn how to address these issues as well as the tumor itself. Mm -hmm. Brain lesions are like real estate, location, location, location. So parts of your brain are Alaskan tundra, you can just march in and out. <laughs> there are other parts that are Manhattan where, where it's very valuable real estate and you've got to be very, very careful. Yeah. What are some of the ways you can treat brain tumors? Well, we treat brain tumors with surgery yeah, to remove obviously. them. Uh, then the um, malignant ones we treat with chemotherapy. We also treat malignant and some benign tumors with radiation. So there, there's a multimodality approach uh, using, utilizing all three of these approaches. Do you ever do chemotherapy directly to the tumor instead of throughout the body the way chemotherapy is often given in other cancers? Yes. Um, chemotherapy in general tends not to get into the brain very well. So when I was a resident, I was involved in research where we developed biodegradable polymers that had chemotherapy that were placed directly into the brain. That is now a commercial product, Gliadel. I've also been involved in clinical trials where we put catheters directly into the tumor mm -hmm. and infuse an agent into the tumor itself, much like an IV. Um, what are the symptoms that would say to someone, I better call a neurosurgeon like Dr. Judy? Well, the symptoms actually are somewhat vague. The most common symptoms of a brain tumor are headaches, um, lethargy, nausea, vomiting, mm -hmm. Um, can be fatigue, um, but then you can have a seizure, which is probably mm -hmm. one of the more common presentations. And then any injury to a brain function, such as language function, vision, mm -hmm. or strength. What particular skills do you think you bring to neurosurgery? Well, I think uh, a level of confidence. You can't march into somebody's brain and second guess yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to uh, identify that you have a task at hand and you're going to accomplish that task. Um, a calmness, the operating room is not where you want to panic. And it, you have to have a level of fine motor dexterity in order to mm -hmm. accomplish it, especially uh, tumors uh, at the base of the skull where you're operating under a microscope mm -hmm. with very fine movements. So I guess you have to know when to be aggressive and when not to be aggressive, and that's very critical. Exactly. Thanks so much for being here today.